My name is Sierra Flores and I am the Everyday Educator. In this tutorial, I want to teach you all about Poplet. Now, this is a web-based application that you can use to create semantic maps or bubble maps, graphic organizers. And it's awesome because it's digital, so you can be online and do this. And you can collaborate with people from all across the globe with just the click of one button. And I love this because you can use it during remote instruction, but you can also use it for in-person learning. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Go to poplet.com and this is what you will see, all right? You, if you do not have an account, it's free to create one. You'll click sign up and then it'll ask you some basic information so that you can go ahead and create an account. I've already signed up and have my free account. And so since I have that, I already kind of started playing around with it. And so I want to show you one of the poplets that I created. All right. This one is my favorite EdTech apps. And so with this poplet, you'll see that I already have it a little bit started here. And so what you can do is click anywhere on the screen and you can kind of move it around. You can zoom in, zoom out. I can change the background if I want to pick a different color. That's cool. Um, but what I want to show you is how to actually create the popples. Now, that's what each of these little um, units is called. It's called a popple. Okay. So with this, I chose to make my favorite EdTech app. And so you just have to kind of double click it. And sometimes it's really particular. So you have to click it a few times for it to understand what you want it to do. And so you'll see here that I can click this option. It allows me to change the color of my popples. Um, I like to tell my students to color code their popples so that that way they know what they mean and it's a better way to organize. Another thing I can do is the font. I can highlight this font and I can make it teeny, medium, or large. And because this is my my main popple, I want this, it's kind of like my heading, I want it to be that larger font. If I want to, I can make a drawing and I already drew like a little heart there, but maybe I want to draw like a star. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm going to draw a little star right here too. Oh my goodness, I'm trying so hard. This is not easy. Okay, and then if I want, I can upload an image. I can do it from a URL, YouTube, or Vimeo videos as well. And this option allows me to upload it directly from my computer. You can see here, I put in my Bitmoji. I uploaded that directly from my computer. Now, the next thing you'll see is the X. If I want to delete this popple altogether, I just click the X and it's gone. Now, another thing you'll see are these smaller circles all around. This is what you use to connect your popples to. So let's say that I want to create a new category because as you can see here, I have Google Classroom, Canvas. These are different learning management systems. I have Edpuzzle here. Um, let me click on Edpuzzle. I, maybe I want to put like a different um, video app that I can have on that as well. And so that's going to create a new one. Let's just put Vimeo for example. I'm going to color this red. Okay. And then let's move it a little bit. Yeah. That's better. All right. Now I'm going to go back up, back to my original, double click, and I'm going to drag so that I can make a popple come off of this. This one is going to be, um, Let's put Nearpod. Nearpod. All right. And it's going to be blue. And then off of Nearpod, I'm going to put Pear Deck as well. Because those are kind of similar. All right. And so let's make that one blue. So that way it matches. Great. Now I'm going to kind of double click. Double click. Ah! You see how I was telling you how it's kind of picky about what it, what you do? So it's very picky. So you have to be um, tap it very delicately and very deliberately because sometimes it's just it's just really touchy. So anyway, that's a way that I can create my poplet and I can zoom out of this to see the big picture and I can zoom in, obviously, so that I can look a little bit closer at my really awful mangled stars if I want to. 
Um, another function that I can do is come to my settings. I can copy it, cut it, paste it, and I can hide the name badges as well. And so what that means, you see how my name is on all of these? As the teacher or as the instructor, this allows you to be able to see who is contributing to the popple. And this one was by Sierra, 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 Sierra. I did the entire thing by myself. So if this were a group project, you can very easily see how having the name badges visible is helpful. Or depending on what my goal is, what my outcome is, I can hide the name badges and they don't have to be seen at all. This is an option that I would use for if it was an individual project, because obviously if it's my project, I hope that I'm the one who did all the work on it. So you don't need to see Sierra, 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 Sierra on all of these. All right. Now, I do want to um, show you the way that you can share this with people. You'll just simply come over, you'll click the share button, and then you'll type in the email address of the person that you want to share with. And then it sends them an email. They click that email. And then if they don't have a Poplet account, they'll just create one. It's super simple. And then they'll be able to come on and create that, okay? If you want to make this public, you can go ahead and make it public, all right? If you want to make it private, then you can click this again. And it'll make it private. Notice how the symbol changes. It's locked. And or you can put it to the globe, like the whole entire world, okay? So right now my public is locked. That means it's private. Right now my pop, my poplet is open to the whole wide world. That's why it has a globe there. But I'm going to make it private just for now because this is just an example poplet, right? So now I want to show you what does it look like whenever students collaborate. This is an example of a poplet that students collaborated on. I'm just going to double click in the center here on this photo of dogs. And as I'm scrolling around, I want you to pay attention to all the features that you see. There's images and there are some different um, colors. And also look at the names. Pay attention to the names. You're going to see a lot of different names on here and a lot of different colors. All right. Because this was created by a group of students. All right, and so this is part of why I love using Poplet because different people can collaborate and they all can come together and share their thoughts. And I can zoom all the way in on this. I can zoom out and let me go back down. Where'd the Poplet go? Come back, Poplet, come back. All right, there it is. Okay, and so I can click view all and it shows me the entire thing. And then again, I have my settings. I can hide the name badges if I want, or I could actually print this or export it to a PDF version. And by doing this, I can actually print it out, and then I can have my kids do even more activities with the printed version of this. And some schools have poster makers, and so you could literally make a poplet and print it on the poster maker, and it is huge, like 16 by 20, monstrous. And so that's another way for you to be able to really represent that semantic map, that bubble map, that graphic organizer. Me for now, I don't actually want to print this, so I'm gonna press cancel. Now, a few side notes about Poplet. One thing that I do want to let you know is that you only get one free Poplet. So here it says that you can get more Poplets, but only if you subscribe. Now, this is where you're going to really want to make some decisions on if you think this is worth it, okay? And so looking here, you'll see that there are some pricing options. The free one, you literally get one poplet and nothing else. Or you can pay $2 a month and then create as many as you want. Another option is to talk to your principal if you find value in this. Talk to your principal and see if they will foot the bill, which would be for the entire school. And since it's going to be a totally different price, it's different based on schools, you know, because they're different sizes, they have different amount of people, they have different needs. So you have to contact them directly. Something that you can do as well, if you are on a team, for example, if you're on a team of five other teachers, what you guys could do is just split the cost. 
And so, for example, this is $19.99 per year. So it's like 20 bucks. If you're on a team with five teachers, each of you could just pay $4 and then you get a whole year of um, Poplet. And so you just got to get kind of creative because, you know, with teachers, we're very, very creative people. And we always find solutions when it comes to making things work and doing what's best for our kids. So that was it. That was the end of the Poplet tutorial. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you liked it, definitely share it with somebody who you think would benefit from this. As always, don't forget to subscribe and click like on this video. Comment some ways that you are able to use Poplet in a school setting, or maybe not even in a school setting. Maybe you have a different idea. I'm open to any and all of your suggestions for the wonderful ways that you can use Poplet.